Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial about Orange Pi. Today I have tested um, a fantastic library. Now I show you the gentleman that wrote this. This is the gentleman that make this job. Practically Warren Pi is the same interface library for the Raspberry uh, which we can use for the Orange Pi. Very easy. This gentleman provides to um, give this fantastic library and also some example. In my case I use this one. Just a little, little bit modification I did. But uh, um, the, the software is the same. Look here, take a look. Inside the one in Pi we have also several uh, kind of uh, chip. In this case MCP is microchip 23017. It's a special device I will show you later which is um, an extended uh, an extended IO 16 up to 16 IO you can define for each one IO if you want to get uh, input or write output in my case I use the same like yesterday I saw you while in set up to set up the board and GPIO and then I use this function 100 I mean uh, uh, 100 is the number of the pin. This gentleman, I suppose, is a virtual memory because uh, when we use this library, it's like uh, we can, it's like we use digital write and read write single for each one uh, pin. We start uh, above the 100, and then here is the address of the chip. In my case, the chip is 21 in hexadecimal. Don't forget this chip MC. MCP 23017 default address is hexadecimal 20 but if you set well, in this case when you have all the address pin connected to zero if you um, change value there are three pins practically we can connect up to eight modules if you put one for example you move this one plus the new address in my case 21 because my address physically is one here you can see here 21 you know I explained yesterday practically how to use NetBeans and C++ but you can use also other editor important you compile with the compiler installing your origin pi in this case practically <coughs> I did some modification because here just only use 10 bits of the of the the chip and write until this this value practically using this is the um, decimal value of 2 elevate 10 in my case I make some modification because I want to use all of them practically 16 and then I change value but it's not complete I don't use all you know I use until 12 in this case Mm, the library is very easy because just copy and paste mm, and nothing you download and it's working here pull up control and pin mode input I don't use this but you can use connected to the chip this value for example if you use the last pin of the chip as input you can read because automatically this um, this library make for, for us for us all the job and then you can use digital write as Arduino function you know and digital read okay in this case I, I use only digital write because all of them are mapped here and then write starting from 100 each one bit is writing I want to show you um, the uh, practically um, I want to show you the the board here I have my orange pie and I have this is orange pie connected I have built uh, I built two boards one board is this one is very easy I use a, um, a, a simple logic translator for this I square C because don't forget orange pie works at 3.3 uh, volts and then also <coughs> all, all, all the bus bus is working this well this way and then um, MCP chip this one 23017 is working at 5 volts I build this um, small board um, let me say this is my hub I square C hub because 
I get an input here from Orange Pi, 3 dot revolt and ground, and then SD, A, and S, and clock, and CLK for the I square bus. And then I have 4 volts lateral here, 4 volts, ground, and then also SDA and clock for the I square C in 5 volts. And practically here I connect 5 volts, you know, here. SDA is SCL clock and this is the the chip I build this uh, hub because I want to connect later um, several sensors such as uh, humidity temperature uh, and more I want to test many things because I want to create my project um, over the I square C for input and output you can see my antenna here, but it's not working because Wi-Fi now is not yet uh, completed. But I hope for the future, as soon, I will get also this and complete my project. Practically, the first step is to command this output by phone, Android application, at OK. OK, guys, um, just uh, to, to make a modification, I want to test this one uh, in this way. Practically compile you see okay compile okay and run and then we can see here the bus i square c is working count this is binary counter for every 100 millisecond increase the the value you can see here increase the value i plus plus okay until this maximum value and this is okay but I want to test now faster than now I want to test faster practically I want to test without delay like this save compile and run. You see the, the bus is very fast as you can see. Practically we can connect a lot of uh, devices, acquire a lot of input, write a lot of output by using this very fast and nice, very easy to use. Now I want to manipulate this library because I want to write directly some value depending by the output and make something as a um, mapping because I want to map this one uh, like a PLC I want to write a conf an hardware configuration and automatically write my value depending by the address okay okay guys I hope this um, tutorial very nice and then uh, this step is very good because practically yesterday I test the single uh, output GPIO today we test also I square C I would like to to test also input and output for example read input and write directly to the output over the the bus this bus and when we have uh, just a little bit more for example Wi-Fi we can start a big project because we can manage everything with our fantastic orange pie Okay guys, if you thank, thanks for watching, if you like, please um, put some like uh, and then see you in the next tutorial. Ciao.